Hi students, how are you all is fine and safe? It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see the design of adders. In this video, we will see the design of half adder and as well as full adder design. Right. So it is very important question in this particular unit. Right. And if you understand the logic, the design is very simple. Okay. And this particular adder design is the basic for all the logic gate designs. Right. So if you go for ripple carry adder, if you go for carry look ahead adder and even multipliers, whatever things which you are going to use in ALU. Right. If you are going to study about all these components, the basic design is the adder design. Right. So you will have adder circuit in all the components. Right. So this is very, very important. So listen very carefully. Okay. So we'll start with half adders first. Okay. And before that, we know that what are the different types of adders, right? As I said, in ALU, you have a lot of components and very important components is, is adder. And we know that in adder, you have something called half adder and full adder. And apart from that, you have a lot of other adders as well. That is parallel adders and ripple carry adder, carry look ahead adder. You have all these adders. Okay. Right. And what is parallel adder? Parallel adder in the sense, right, that is cascading the full adders. Number of full adders, that is cascading the number of full adders so that it will parallelly perform the operation. All the full adders will parallelly perform the operation. That is called as parallel adders. Okay. And there is something called ripple carry adder. For ripple carry adder, you can add n bit numbers. If you want to add n bit numbers, then you can go for ripple carry adders, right? And the name, why it is called as ripple carry adder, that's because the carry will ripple throughout the, throughout the adder. Okay, from one end, from, from LSB to MSB, the carry will ripple. That is why it is called as ripple carry adder, right? And carry look ahead adder, it is, it is the improved version of this ripple carry adder. We can also call it as fast adder. Why it is called as fast adder? That's because in ripple carry adder, you have more number of delays, right? That is, the carry will propagate from LSB to MSB, so it will take more time, right? So in order to overcome that, in order to reduce the delay, we go for carry look ahead adder, and that is why it is called as fast adders, okay? And in this video, we are going to see only about half adder and full adder, and remaining adders we will see in subsequent videos, okay? And what is half adder? So, from the name itself, we can understand, right? Uh, the half adder is capable of adding only two single bit numbers. Okay, it is not a complete adder, it is a half adder. That is, it can able to perform addition of two single bit binary numbers. Okay, and it can able to produce two outputs, that is, sum and as well as carry. This is sum and as well as carry, right? This is the this is nothing but the normal and operation which we do, right? 0, 0, 1, 1, we do, right? That is A, B, right? We'll do normal operation 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, right? The normal addition operation, that is the off order operation, okay? Now, we'll see how design, how the circuit is designed for off order, right? So, listen this video very carefully, right? Follow me so that you can easily understand, okay? Right, so how the circuit is this form, okay? You can see here, we know that input is 0, 0, 0, 1, Right, 1, 0, 1, 1. Right, depending upon the input, the output will be produced. Right, sum is nothing but 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. And 1 plus 1, 0 here. Correct? Right, so remember, this is an arithmetic operation. Right, this is not the, the R operation. Right, so now listen. Right, so and you can see here it is 1 plus 1 is 10. That is 1, 0. Right. So, what you will put? You will put 0 here and 1 as carry. Correct? Right. So, if it is R operation, what you will do? 1 plus 1 is considered as 1. Correct? Right. Now, you don't have carry here, here, here. You have carry only here. Right? That is 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. Right? And only here it is 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 in arithmetic. Correct? And that is why we have carry here. Right? Now, we have to frame this circuit. Right? So, what we do, we will go for K map for that, right? So, K map, you can see here, the input is 0 and 1, right? If you take A, you have only 0 and 1. And similarly, B, you have 0 and 1, 
right? So what I will do is I'll draw a K map, K map, right? So I'll consider this as A and this as B. So this is zero and one. This is zero and one, right? Right? And now what you'll do? That is, if A is zero and B is zero, output will be zero, correct? So this is A is zero, B is zero, output will be zero, correct? And if it is A is one and B is zero, you'll get sum is one, right? So if A is one and B is zero, it is one, correct? And so if it is zero, that is A is zero and B is one, A is zero and B is one, the output will be one, correct? And so it is both is one, both is one, then the output will be zero. So this is what we have done here, correct? Right? So you leave out zero, or you'll consider only one, right? And understand one particular thing, if it is zero, then it is A complement, right? And if it is one, it is A. And similarly here, this is B, so it is B complement, and this is B, correct? That is what we have done here. You understand? Right? Now you can see only one here, here and here. Correct? That is here and here. So how will you write this expression? This is, this expression is, you can see this one is nothing but A bar into B. Correct? And that is what written here. A bar into B. And this one, this is A into B bar. Right? So it is A into B bar. Correct? And this expression can be simplified as A X R. Right? A X R B. That is sum. And similarly, carry. Carry, you can see, this is the carry output where you will get output only in here. Right? LM is 0. Everything is 0. Only this part is 1. Right? So the same K map, everything will be 0. Only here I will get 1. Right? If it is 1, what, what will I get? That is this one and this one. Right? That is A into B. Right? It's simple. AND gate is enough. Right? So now you can see, this is XR gate and this is AND gate. Correct. So now I have to draw the circuit, right? How will I draw the circuit, right? You can see A is the input, B is the input, output is sum and as well as carry, right? So for sum, it is A, XR, B, correct? So it is A, XR, B. I am using an XR gate, that is sum, correct? And similarly, carry is A into B, that is A and B, that is A into B, that is carry. Very simple half order design, correct? You understand the logic, right? How the alpha design is done, right? So for alpha and a design, you will have one XR gate and one AND gate. That is, XR gate is for sum and AND gate is for carry, correct? Right. Now, we go for full order. Full order, right, it overcomes the drawback of half order. That is, in half order, you add only two, two one bits, right? In full order, you can use three bits. That is, you will not be able to use carry, in half order, but here you can able to use carry as the third input, right? So you can see here A, B, C, right? And as usual, you'll get sum and carry as the output, right? So only difference is you have three input here, correct? Now you'll see the full order design, right? This is very important, listen, right? So full order design it can be done in any ways, the same. The same came up, right? You can you can do it in different ways, okay? You can see here. Right, if it in three inputs here, so I'm writing it as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, I'm writing it in 4 to 1 method, right? So 0, 1, 0, 0, double 1, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, triple 1, correct? And sum is nothing but, what is sum? You have to add all these things, 3, right? It is 0. So if it is 0, there is no carry, 0. And here, if you add all 3, you'll get 1, so no carry, 0. And if you add all these 3, you'll get 1 and no carry, right? And if you listen here, so if you add this one, 1 plus 1 is 10. So it's 0 and that is carry, correct? And here, if you add everything, that is 1. So that is no carry. And if you add this one, right, it's 10. So it's 0 and 1, correct? And here it's 10 again, so it's 0 and 1. And here it is 11, right? Triple 1, so 11, so it's 1, 1. Now, you do the same K map, right? You got to do the same method. The only difference is here you'll use B into C, right? Zero, you'll, you'll, you'll consider this as A and this as B, C, correct? Right? So it's zero. Here it's zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Here it's zero, one, okay? And as I said, if it is zero, then it is considered as an A complement, the corresponding complement, okay? And if it is one, then it is A, right? And now you can see you'll have one only here in this area for some. Right, you consider this one. This is one, this is one, this is one, 
this is one. That is four ones, right? For sum, you have four ones. So that is one, 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 one. Correct? Right? So and now you'll need to simplify it. How can I write this one? Right. How will I write this one? You can see this is A bar 0, right? And this is B bar C, right? You can see here. This is 0, 1. And this can be written as, you can see here, A bar, B and C bar because B is 1 here, right? So A bar, B, C bar. Similarly, this one can be written as A, B bar, C and the last one is A, B, C. And you can simplify this. That is, you are taking A bar as common, right? And you can write it this way, right? If you take this A as complement, A bar out, then the expression will be like this, correct? Right. And similarly, here you are taking A as common and you will get the expression, right? Now, you know that Boolean of rules, right? This expression can be written as B XRC and this can be written as B XRC complement of it, right? And this expression, one is complement and one without complement can be done with this product. You can, you can write in this particular rule. Right, you can write it as A, XR, B, XR, C. Right, this is sum. Right, A, XR, B, XR, C. Right, and carry, you can write it, you can do it in a very simple step. You can see carry, you got only four ones. That is here, 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 and here. You will draw a K map again. The same method as we did in off adder. This is considered as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, you'll have 1, 1, 1 here. Right. And when you get like this, what you can do is, you can write, you can write in this way, that is, this can be common, and this can be common, right, and this can be common, right, this is 2, 4, 6, instead of writing 4, 6, you can write it as in common way, that is, uh, this both can be written as, how can, you, uh, how can I write this, right, this one, this can be written as B into, B into C, correct? Right? You can see here. Right? Similarly, you can write this as A into B. And similarly, you can write this as A into C. Right? This is carry. Right? This is very simple method. If you want, you can also do it in individually. Right? You can do it individually. This is considered as individually. You can do that. Right? If you consider individually also, you can do it. Right? So, now the expression for sum is A, XR, B, XR, C. And for carry, this is the expression. Correct? You can, do, you can also do this in another method. That is, the sum the expression can be, instead of taking A, you can take C as common and you can simplify it. You can, you can get the same expression, right? And as I said, if you're going to write carry, for carry, right, if you take individually, if you write individually, how will I write individually? This one separately, this one separately, this one separately, this one separately, right? If you write that way, you can, you can obtain like this one, right? You can obtain this one, right? Similarly, uh, if you solve this one, you'll get only A, B, B, C and C, A. Everything is same, correct? Okay. Now, understand one particular logic. Now, we know that the expression for sum, this is the expression for sum and this is the expression for carry. Okay. Now, in, now it's A, XR, B, XR, C. Right. Listen, this can be done very easily. Right. Now, I'll, I'll do it in two different ways. Now, listen. Right. So, if you take this one, right, this expression, you know that sum can be directly explained here. Right. A, B, C. What you'll do? You'll put one XR, correct? One XR. That is enough, correct? That is enough. A, B, and C. That is enough, correct? And similarly, this circuit, right? This carry is nothing but A, B, B, C, and A, C. That is, A, B, you'll have to do one AND gate. And B, C, you have to do another AND gate. And similarly, A, C, A, C, you can do another AND gate, right? And then you have to add all these things, correct? You have to use an XR gate, right? XR gate for that, correct? So, you can also, this is sum and this is carry. You can also draw in this particular method, right? But how to design the full adder using off adder, right? How to design using off adder, then you have to write, you have to draw it in a different way. That is, instead of doing one XR operation here, I am right, I am splitting this expression into two, right? You can see A into B, that is A X R B and the output, that is A X R B and that is X R with C. What I am doing is, I am doing it separately, I am putting a brackets. You know that 
by using uh, associative and commutative law, but putting in brackets, the grouping will not change any result, correct? So, A, A, X, R, B, I am not using this AND gate, and the output is, and this output is X, R with C. You can see, this output is X, R with C. C is another input. So, this is sum is over, correct? And what is carry? Carry, you can see, A, X, R, B, right? A, X, R, B, you know that this is the output, A, X, R, B, right? That is into C, right? This gate, this AND gate, this operation is over, A, X, R, B and C, right? And for this one, A into B, right? A into B, right? And then you are using an R gate, right? So, this is carry out, okay? And you can see this particular full adder design, this is very important and if you see this, you can understand that this particular design, Contains two half adders, right? You know that in half adder, what, what you have seen, you will use one, you will use one XR gate and one AND gate. You can see here we are using two XR gate and two AND gates, right? This is one half adder, this is one half adder, right? So, if the question is asked, like design, so normally the question is asked only design a full adder, okay? And if it is put design a full adder, you can do it anyway, right? But if it is using half adder, you have to draw this particular circuit. Right. So, hope you understand this logic. Okay. So, today what we have seen so far is we have seen what is the design of half adder and what is the design of full adder. What are the gates involved? Right. And the comparison of half adder and full adder is a very important two mark question or even it can be asked in three or four marks. Okay. So, you know that from this particular video you can, you can definitely write by yourself what is the difference between half adder and full adder. Right. So, you know that half adder is a combination logic circuit, right? That it has only two inputs and here you can use three inputs, right? And and once the carry is generated, right? Here in half adder, we will not be able to do the carry, right? That is, we will not be able to carry the, ca the carry of the previous one, but we can able to do it in full adder. Similarly, what are the gates you have used? You have used AND gate and XR gate, right? Here, you have used two XR gate and two AND gate Right, that is full adder design, right, because in full adder you will use two half adders, correct, right, and the input bits are A and B here and you will have carry in here, right, and similarly the expressions is also different, correct, so the expression is A, X, R, B and this A into B and this is the expression for full adder, right, and half adder is mostly used in computers, calculators and other devices, digital devices, okay, and full adders, Full adder is, an, it is an, a bit complex circuit bit where it can be used in digital processor and multiple bits, right? And to perform addition in multiple bits, everything can be done in full adder, right? This is the comparison of half adder and full adder, right? So today we have seen what is the design of half adder and full adder, right? And we have seen how to draw the circuit for half adder and how to draw the circuit for full adder, right? So this is a very important question. And only using this design, we will go for further designs of ripple carry adder and carry look ahead adder and everything, right? Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.